Hello! Because apparently I never learn, I bought a load of returned items from eBay! Apparently all returned to the mighty behemoth of shopping that is Amazon. And I've got ten of them here, and they're all sealed in these sort of... Well, these grey mailer bags, I suppose. These sort of plastic bags that uh, stick to themselves, and stick to themselves so strongly, not even the powers of Zeus and Thor combined could rip them apart. So instead you just rip into the bag, like I'm about to do. So I've got no idea what's in any of these. Let's find out together, and let's see if I've been completely ripped off. Of course I have. I'm sure whoever sent these to me checked them first to see if there was anything valuable. And we're going to end up with the absolute bottom of the barrel, aren't we? In fact, this is probably just full of barrel bottoms. OK. Ooh, actually, it's not so easy to get into this one. Yes, it is. I was just doing it badly. We have... Uh, oh, um... These! Yay! Good news, everyone! We've got some of those! Is there anything else in there? No, that's it. Uh, small transparent containers? Uh, petri dishes? I think actually, yes, I think they are petri dishes. There we are. So if you are trying to grow some mould in your laboratory and you're like, oh no, I do not have any dishes in which to put my mould, don't worry. I've got some cheap plastic ones here where the lid doesn't quite stand properly, and frankly, you'll probably be wanting glass ones anyway. But that's not the point is. The point is we've got, I mean, I'm presuming ten of them. One, two, three, four, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Yes. Great. Off to a flying start there. <laughs> I'd better step up my science experiments and um, grow a new type of lethal mould that will wipe out the human race. That sounds like a fun thing to do on the weekends, doesn't it? Right. You get in that corner, because now I've got a large flat... Oh, I was going to say a large flat thing. Actually, it's a large... No, I think it's just a big bag. Oh, I've already discovered these bags lie. <laughs> See, I thought this was like a big flat thing, and it's not at all. Oh, it has been nibbled by a mouse or something. Oh, that's, oh, that's nice. Right, what have we got? Hopefully something more exciting than the dishes. Oh my god, everyone! It's an HD TV adapter! <laughs> for a, um, what is that, micro USB, isn't it? Um, hang on, let's get it out and have a proper look. So this is basically something you plug into your phone and then gives it an HDMI output. Okay then, um, and there's another micro USB in the side. Oh my god! Do 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 There we are! We've now created the infinite feedback loop for an HDMI cable. You plug this into your television, turn it on, you just see the swirling patterns of infinity. Um, so I'm assuming this will actually need some sort of external power source, judging by the side thing there. Or is that just a pass-through? Ooh! I tell you what, I'm going to see if I can get this to work on like a basic um, old Android device and edit in the results. Ooh, that was unexpected and exciting, wasn't it? I've got no idea. I'm going to have to do that after this video. <laughs> well, there we are. Computer cable. I mean, not really. It appears to be for a phone. I mean, is a tablet a computer? That'll be good enough. But it is 100% tested and certified. Lifetime warrantied. Guaranteed compatibility. What with? They won't tell you. <laughs> Ah, uh, what more do you want out of life than random cables? We have to work out what they do themselves. Speaking of which, that's probably... Oh! <gasps> this one's in a different coloured bag, everyone! Oh, exciting! Right. There we are, there's some numbers. I'm sure if you can work that code out, the secrets of the universe will be yours. Um, what have we got? Oh, I don't know, this one's uh, thicker than the others. Oh, it's a mobile phone case. Great. Wonderful. Fantastic. It's got uh, burgers, pizza, chips, and a hot dog. And is mostly translucent. And I've got absolutely no idea whatsoever which phone this fits. <laughs> Brilliant. Uh, it doesn't look like an iPhone, so I would guess, uh, yeah, some uh, an Android phone of some type? That's really narrowed it down, hasn't it? Maybe an old Samsung Galaxy? I am completely guessing, and I haven't got a clue. If you're looking at this and you're thinking, hey, this might fit my phone, then, uh, well, you're probably wrong. I mean, how could you possibly tell from this? Come on, guys. It's simple. It's impossible. 
Wait, those things kind of contradict each other. Quickly, get the next item before the world explodes. It is... Oh, this genuinely is a big flat. What is this, a book or something? Oh, I think it might be a book. Oh, I hope it's the Necronomicon. I've been meaning to read that. Oh, no. It, oh, God, it's a bloody tablet case. <laughs> A pink spotted tablet case. So you can make it look as if your tablet has a disease. Oh, that's interesting. I've also got a uh, screen protector. Okay. So is there any hint as to what this fits? It's got a stylus with it. Well, I say stylus. I think it's just one of those rubber tipped things that kind of emulates a finger. Because, you know, maybe you haven't got any fingers and you need to emulate it with a bloody rubber stick. Um, yeah, this isn't... Uh, uh, and if it doesn't give us a hint, again, we're never going to know what this fits. Hang on. Arrgh. It's too stuck to it. Yep, that's uh, infinite excitement. And... Uh, great. Apparently this fits a silica gel throwaway do not eat desiccant. That's one of my favourite makes of tablet. I imagine actually this would fit several different types because it's fairly generic, isn't it? As long as you've got a camera in that corner and it roughly fits in here, you're probably going to be all right. You might actually tell more specifically what this is for by using the screen protector. But as it stands, the last two items will forever remain a mystery. I don't know why I threw that pen there. Anyway, this bag is soft mm. and squidgy. Possibly an item of clothing or something. I don't know, I haven't guessed correctly at all yet, so um, let's see how it goes. Oh, it's sequiny. Trillic. Trillic made in China and QC passed. Usually you'd think that meant quality control, but frankly with this stuff I've got no idea. Ah, oh, it says what this is. A 13 by 84 rectangle sequin shimmer table linens and fabric. Oh, so if you've got a table, and it's quite a nice table, and you think to yourself, I wish this table looked really tacky and awful. You could throw this over it, and it would A, look dreadful, and B, cover it, apparently, in small bits of weird fabric and uh, sequins that drops off, because it's so incredibly low quality. This is monstrous. This is evil, and I despise it utterly. It's more like a horrifying scarf or something. So it's a table runner, basically, isn't it? But it's, it's, dis it's literally disintegrating. Like, that is not an exaggeration. Look at this. Look at this ludicrous mess I'm going to have to clear up afterwards. There's sequins and bits of horrible white fluff everywhere. Perfect. Brilliant. No wonder they returned that without opening it. They probably just smelt its evil through the packaging. Anyway, let's see. Oh, God, don't be another tablet case. <laughs> There's too many tablet cases. I don't know what they fit. This is. Oh, no, this isn't. Or is it? 10. 10. Okay, but 10 watts. 10. Oh my god, it's a Bluetooth keyboard! Didn't see that coming! Bluetooth keyboard with a sort of pink shimmer on it. It's very flat. Very flat. You can, like, um, you know, quite easily stick it in a bag with a tablet or something. Interesting. Also, on the QW &E, it's got Android, Windows, and iOS. That's a thing. Okay, then. Um, yeah, it's American layout by the looks of it, which is a bit of a shame, but that's interesting. It doesn't have enough battery to actually turn on. Yes, we have a power light. Hmm. Some sort of decent action. It's always... Oh, oh, God, it's flimsy. Look at that! Bloody hell, it's the flimsiest keyboard that ever flimmed. Um, however, it does have a light button, so uh, what more do you want? Does that do anything? Yes! The power! The power! Look at it! Oh my god! I actually get it to cycle different colours. That seems sort of unnecessary, but okay then. Um, well, if you need a very thin uh, USB key... Uh, USB. If you need a very thin Bluetooth keyboard that frankly looks like it's going to melt if you stick your finger too strongly on it, this is for you. I mean, it's going to do the job, isn't it? That sort of feel all right, actually. That's uh, that, right, I'm quite impressed with that. I, I feel that is the best item thus far. Although, frankly, it hasn't had that much competition. Next up, another big square thing. Oh, God. Don't be a tablet case. Don't be a tablet case. Don't be a tablet case. Oh, no. It is Bonson Kitchen. Oh, my favourite kitchen. So that is a set of digital scales. Going to be honest, looks more like a toilet seat from the picture on the front or a digital egg, but, um, okay. It's 
goes up to 11 pounds or five kilograms. It's quite a lot for one of these little things. Got a customer service number on it. I lied, it's actually a web uh, email address, but never mind. It takes a 2032 battery. Remove the battery divider before use. Turn on, press 500 grams at the center of the platform for two seconds to turn on. What? Oh, so you turn it on by literally going for two seconds. Okay, what can we learn from the instruction manual? I hope it's in bad English. Congratulations on the purchase of your new appliance. You have selected a high quality product. I mean, I didn't select it, it was sent to me at random. Uh, the operating instructions are part of this product. Not really, are they? I mean, they're part of sort of the whole thing, but the product surely is there. It doesn't matter. It doesn't matter. All that matters is we can rip that out. Stick this on there. There we are. It's teared itself at zero grams, as one would hope. Oh, no, it's got something on it. Hang on. It's now at minus... Oh, hang on. We're going to have to uh, uh, do that. I reckon, can you... Oh, you can't make that out at home. It's fine, I'll tell you. No? There we are. Right, it's at zero grams. How heavy is this keyboard? Everybody guess. The answer will probably not be correct because it's not on a flat surface and it's got other things in it, but let's not worry about that. Oh god, I've just sent something into orbit. Off you go, off you go. That apparently weighs 10 grams! Woo! No, that's, that's surely more than 10 grams. Surely. Yeah, now claims to be weighing 0.2 ounces. Oh, it's in ounces, hang on. Pounds. Uh, yeah, can we have it in grams? There we are, six grams. Hmm. Right, I am going to go and test this and then report back if it was any good or not. Sorry, test this and then go and report back if it is actually vaguely similar to my proper scales downstairs. And jump cut to learn. Yes, yeah, absolutely fine. Um, yeah, it gives the sort of same results as our current kitchen scales. Although these seem to be very, very cheap and flimsy, so probably won't last very long. But other than that, it's something in it. Might be vaguely useful one day. Next up, squidgy bag again. If this is more filthy sequins, I shall be disgusted. Disgusted, I say. Right. Yo. Now it's chain mail. <laughs> what is this? Ah. It's, uh, it's, it's uh, a hairy thing. So you've got your bit of fabric at the top and then just loads of monstrous string, like some sort of golden Midas spaghetti. There we are. Um, I don't even know what that's for. Somebody in the comments will know. I mean, you won't know which one's right and which one's wrong. That's the comments for you. But um, there we are. And it smells weird. Oh, it smells really sort of rubbery, which is odd, because it's not kind of rubber. It's just some sort of, I don't know if it's the dye or the stuff is made out of or what. It's just, it's just a load of weird hair. Well, great. I mean, the keyboard and the scales have been quite good. Let's focus on those. <laughs> right. Next up. Ooh, a gossamer thin return. Ooh, let's have a look. It's nothing in there. What? <laughs> oh, wait, it's in the corner. Ah, there we are. Oh, it is a ghost cartridge. What? What the bloody hell is this? Three pieces inside. Pod capacity, 1.8 millilitres, heating coil. Oh, there we are. Suitable for nicotine, salts, e-liquids. So this, a three, what, ghost cartridges for some sort of um, specific form of vaping unit or something. It says there's three in there. They're bloody aren't. It says three pieces inside, and there are clearly two. Has one fallen out in the bag? No! Oh, did they steal one and return the rest? <gasps> the swines will never know. So um, this is a empty cartridge. So you fill this with your own vaping juice or whatever the hell it's called. And I don't know how you do that though. Is there a hole in the top? I can't really tell. And then it puts electricity through it and it gets all hot and it turns into a vapor and then you inhale it. That sounds like a good idea. Um, great, wonderful. What, what would I have ever done without it? Right, save us. Oh God, this feels like another, oh no, it doesn't. I was about to say this feels like another tablet case for the final item, but I'm not so sure. Cause look, it's got like a handle bit. Intriguing, it, oh, maybe it's like a tablet case for children. It's really chunky. The answer is yes, chunky tablet. Oh my God, look at it. Oh, it's got a massive foam handle. This is amazing. 
Well, I say foam, actually. It's uh, quite reinforced rubbery stuff. If only we knew what tablet this was for. To be fair, this looks like it could fit a number of tablets. Probably quite badly. Um, there is a hole in it for... Um... Oh, look. I think this thing, this thing here, is just to keep it to keep its shape in transit. I reckon if we remove this... Ha 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 ha! There we are, look. You've got your hole there for camera, or your hole here for the camera if you want. You can poke that out. It's an anti-fake mark. What? Anti-fake mark. Oi, Mark! Don't worry, mate, it's anti-fake. Um, so that's supposed to be, like, your sign that this is a genuine generic Chinese brand? <laughs> That seems slightly odd to me. Well, there we are. Um, if you're going to give a tablet to a child, you're going to drop it a lot. I imagine this is a really good way of protecting it, especially because you've got your, your wonky handle boy at the top. That's quite good. And, yeah, that will this will take a heavy impact, put it that way. So, in conclusion, did we get anything worthwhile? Well, the gold string is frankly confusing and horrible. The sequins are monstrous. Useless tablet case, petri dishes for some reason. Um, we've got that that I don't know if it's any good or not, but you will, weirdly, because you'll have seen that bit edited into it. Scales are okay. Bluetooth keyboard could be useful. Maybe because it's so thin and light, actually, that could be handy. Uh, yeah, hmm, an interesting selection of random items. But the important thing is, Christmas is coming up, which means, yep, next month, every shop will be having everything bloody returned because nobody wants the presents that people have bought. The ungrateful buck.